Hi, in today's video, we'll see how to pass the value from a child of the parent job using the, the buffer components in Talent. So buffer components can be used for two purposes. One, instead of creating the temp tables, we can store the data in the buffer components and we can reuse the buffer components later in the job to store the data. So instead of creating multiple temporary tables, we can keep the data in the memory and we can reuse that. And the second purpose is we can keep the data in a uh, buffer like uh, the data will be in the child job and same value can be passed to the parent job using, using the buffer components and this buffer components will mainly work with the memory so now let's see in Talon, Talon how it works and we'll see like how to pass the value from child job to parent job and for today's demonstration I created two jobs in the parent job we'll be loading the employee data so the source is the text file and the target is Oracle database so we are storing the employee table and in the child table we are storing the department data so first I'll run this job and I'll show like why the buffer components is used and where do we need the buffer components and like where should we pass the value from child to parent so in parent we are processing some records and in child job we are processing some records uh, but in parent job we need to know like how many records got processed in the child table so in the parent job when we run the job you can see the number of rows getting processed and the control will be within this job and using some global variables we can get the data and we will get to know like how many records processed so I'll run the parent job first See the parent job is completed, so we processed 112 records. But if you see the department table, even the department table has run successfully, but in the console you cannot see that. Now let's see the table. If you see the count, like all 102 records got loaded. Even in the department table, you can see 27 records got processed. That will see. So when you run the child job alone, you can see that like how many records are getting processed. See, 27 records got processed um, but we need to pass this information to the parent job so this is required for the audit purpose like how many record got processed and second one second one is after the records are processed we need to send mail we need to send mail to customer like how many records processed for each job so it can be employee or it can be customer's data or it can be location anything whatever records getting processed in the child job we need to pass that value so for that what we can do is we can enable we can get the help of the global variable of the t db output and just so in the t flow fixed flow input i'm just getting the db output global variable to know the common number of lines got inserted that i'm passing to the buffer component and from that buffer component from the tren job will enable this component so what happens uh, first the parent job runs then at the t post job it will call the child job then the control will go to the child job it will process all the data then the data will be kept in the memory after that the control will come to the tren job from there it will propagate whatever data we have in the t buffer component it will be displayed here and that we can capture with the help of the context variable so if you see this NB line, right? this NB line is what you can see here in the buffer output component. The schema name is NB line. That data can be processed here, and you can use in the you can store the data in the context variable, and from there you can we can use to audit, load in the audit table, or we can use in the TCML component. I'll run the job. We can see that. So if you see here the output the number of record processed in the table employee table is 112 and the number of record processed to department table is 27 and in the t log after t run job right we are using this nb line so that is 27 so it's in the t buffer component we can pass the values from child to parent job thank you